Welcome back, everybody. We're going to be doing another Dokkan event. Today, we're going to be talking about the super easy A of one of my all-time favorite characters, which is Mystery Super Technique Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Now, before we dive in, let's talk a little bit about what he used to be. He first came out in 2015. He was a very powerhouse -y character, but back then, this was early, early Dokkan, he was just doing damage, but no one was putting stuff in dodge. No one was putting things anywhere else. They were just like, let's just go crit and hope for the best. Or let's go with additionals. Hope for the best. That wasn't working. It was total, utter bullshit. Not only that, his EZA was one of the fucking hardest EZAs. And I mean that, like, ridiculously hard. Like, how to put it? Um... Like, let me just read to you guys what was going on at that time. You would either use super tech and, ex and extreme tech type characters to beat him because he's AGL, or you would use resurrected warrior category characters to get through that. Let me just tell you right now, if you didn't have Frieza, and I'm not talking like an easy Frieza. I'm talking like you have to have the Frieza, the friggin' intelligent golden Frieza angel. If you didn't have him, you were screwed. You would not make it past his stage. It was god awful hard. I would spend days trying to climb the ranks. Whereas now, it's quite simple. Now, here's how embarrassing this is. Like when I when I did this stage, I want to see what my build was. So I went back and did this to finish it years later. And I literally rocked a team that had a couple, like, easy A's at the time. Past that, it was embarrassing. This was a hard, hard thing to do. Now they have a super easy A. Oh, man. Check this out. Boom. Super easy A. And I'm still number four on the list, by the way. Because I have beaten this. But there, I only did it in three minutes and 20 seconds. So we're going to try to do a little record here to see how that does work. Um... Let me go back and explain a little bit more for you guys. So when this Goku was out, his original AGL like leader skill and everything was AGL type key plus three with an attack of 3000. And then his Dragon Fist super attack would be like, oh, cause surprise damage to an enemy and lowers defense. That was it. His passive was called battle to end. And all he did was attack of 100% for seven turns from the start of turn. So like I said, back then we were just like, attack, 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 attack. Who cares if you get hit? Attack, 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 attack. Because, you know, what he was doing was just lowering defense. That was it. So he would just be a damage output. But as time has gone on and we've progressed into the more meta, now we're just trying to figure out what we're going to do. So now his EZA came out a couple years later in 2017. So now let's take a look at his current EZA. And it is... God, this is insane. Um, let me, let me bring this down for you guys a little bit. He literally is AGL type key plus three HP attack and defense of a hundred. I mean, HP attack and defense of 70%. His super attack dragon fist extreme will cause immense damage to an enemy to greatly lower their defense. Then his passive went from just one little thing to multiple. He gives a key plus two and attack and defense of 200%. Perform a critical for one turn from the character's entry. Super class allies chance of performing a critical hit of 20%. And extreme class allies chance of performing a critical at 10% for three turns from his entry. Plus an additional attack and defense of 150 for five turns from the character's entry. Plus an additional attack and defense of another 150. And a high chance of launching an additional super attack when performing a super attack for seven turns from when he enters. Plus an additional attack and defense of 100% when performing a super attack starting from the eighth turn from his entry. And with a medium chance of evading enemy attacks, including super. Plus an additional chance of evading an enemy's attack, including a super, of 30%. Like, plus 30% before attacking. Like... Holy crap. And then he gets an additional 150% defense and high chance of performing a critical hit for three turns after evading that attack. Now there's a reason to really put him into dodge. Now there's a real reason to really like boost for this guy. But again, I digress. I've been ranting for four minutes. I do apologize. Now we're going to get into the actual name grit. What team did I use? And um, how did I get through this? Well, I went with Resurrected. That's what I did. I was like, we're just going to... We're just going to run it, you know? 
Now, if you are in JP, then you have Harutagon for Resurrected Warriors. But if you're on Global right now, um, then you better hope that you have this Frieza again, because he is literally the GOAT. He is the reason we got past this. Now, I went with a whole team full of just straight up, like, attack, and one Harutagon to just join in. By the way, Hurigan is a complete douche, and he dodges like hell. If you can get him dodged. What does this guy have his stuff in? Let's take a look. Oh, wow. He has it at 18 dodge. This is trash. But that's okay. That's okay. We're going to run it anyways. Let's go for it. Let's do this. あなたなる進化を。わかりやすく黄色にしてみましたが、単純すぎましたかね。安っぽいメニューですが、ゴールデンフリーザとでも言いましょうか。Now, like I said, his original EZA was douchey enough to get through. Now we're going to have to strategize. So we're going to put Freeze up here because he can tank everything. So let's go with that. Then we're going to go with Rudigon. Let's test his dodge. Let's really test his dodge. Like, I want to see this. And then the goat in the back. We're going to float Freeze off the int one. All right, let's see how much damage we do and how much we block. Now, again, with these videos, the goal is to just show you what my strategy is going into an easy A, or at least in this case, a super extreme Z. So we want to be able to beat this within three minutes. Well, three minutes and 30 seconds to get the awards. The other awards that are there are, let's see. You can get up to... 15 awakening medals first one is by clearing the z uh battle with a super extreme z awakening character well, i mean with just a regular z uh, extreme z awakening character in the team. Right. friends don't count second one is with at least three sworn enemy category characters on your team and the last one is be within three minutes and 30 seconds so let's go ahead and post up here Okay, we're gonna get really, really screwed on the key here. That's okay. I could have done better, but that's fine. I just wanna show you guys what happens in this when I run my team like this. I'm just looking for damage output. Just massive damage. See? Just like that. Now, you can get half of his awakening medals to get him to super ext extreme awaken. But uh, again, it requires 30 awakening medals and you get 15 from just completing the challenges. So we're gonna just try our best to see where this goes. So we're doing damage. Uh, yeah, this is not too worried. It's not gonna hurt as much as I think it is. Because we are with a type advantage. All right, so again, Frieza here at the front line. Cooler. Do I want Cooler here or do I want him? Nah, I'm gonna put Cooler in the back. Clearly you're going to be floating, bro. Just to kind of show how this is important. Now, you can do speed runs with this. Obviously, challenge yourself and your friends. Have fun with it. I mean, my friends on Global that are going to be like, Hey, hey, Buffcat, you know, we're going to try to outdo you. Great. Have fun. Outdo me, bro. <laughs> but here in JP, I'm having fun. JP's my main account, as you guys know. I go through this. I have fun with this. I like, I may not speak Japanese. But I can literally go online and I can just search up everything. Google Translate's wonderful. But I like to play on JP side of things because I started on Global, went to JP because I, I was just too impatient, and then fell in love with the fact that I got everything sooner than everybody else because then I could like literally call my friends and be like, hey guys, this is what I recommend. That's why when I do my videos, I'm like, hey guys, like I'm nerding out on this, I'm geeking out on this. 
I may not speak Japanese, but I'm going to use Google Translate. We're going to find out what's coming in global in the next six months in advance. And all my friends are like, oh my god, yeah, 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 that's so cool. And that's how that kind of started. So, you know, from that point, it just it grew. And I fell in love with playing on that server. And now, we're done. Easy, easy demonstration. This is a very easy event if you have the right team. If you don't, you're going to be kind of screwed. And Cell's going to finish the fight. So, compared to my other videos, this is relatively short. <laughs> but I just like to be able to share stuff with you guys, have fun with you guys. Most of all, thank you. Thank you to all of you. You guys are literally the reason why this channel is where it is today. And we beat it in 4 minutes and 49 seconds because I was talking smack. That's okay. My record is 3 minutes and 20 seconds. But as you guys see, try out whatever you want. You got three medals for doing it. And you just got to do it a few times. So, Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I'll catch you all on the next Dokkan video.